Hey guys, welcome back to another Codebusters video. Today we are going to be going over the at bash cipher. And I created this question using the Tobes website. It's, I'll write that down, T-O-E-B-E-S dot com. That's a great resource for everyone to use for Codebusters. It has a lot of practice questions and you can print your own tests and everything from that. Highly recommend checking that out. But today I will be going over the at bash cipher. So this table down here will be given to you on your regular test. So in any test that you have, your regionals, your states, your nationals, this table should be given to you. And if you notice, I'm gonna label the top row label one and the bottom row label two. If you notice between the two of those, number one is just number two flipped in the same, those are supposed to be arrows, my bad. Number one is just number two flipped, and number two is just number one flipped. So you can see that C is A and A is Z. So using that information, let's try to figure this one out for our own. So looking at the first letter right here, D goes to W. So we know Plain and simple that all the D's in this code are going to go to W. It looks like we only have one. So then we can go to our next letter, which is S. S will be going to H. And then we can keep filling in, plugging and chugging. H. Then Z goes to A. That one should give us a little more. And from here on out, it's pretty smooth sailing. So there's a little bit of G goes to T. Let's see where else we have G's. There we go. Lots of T's. And so looking at this, I think we can all figure out what this letter translates to, but just to check, we know that H goes to S. So here, let me do that. So the H will go to S. So you can use your context clues to figure this out, but for the purpose of learning, I'm going to go through the whole question as if we did not know how to do it. So then we already have our G. So S, oh, I missed an S. V is a new letter, so V goes to E. There we go. K is a new letter, so K goes to P. One P. L is also new. L O. R is new. R corresponds to I. So there's an I right there, I right there, I right there. Um, not sure where those came from. Let's see, M is new. M goes to N. Uh, y goes to B. T goes to, what do we think T goes to? G. O goes to L. E corresponds with V. Uh, U corresponds with F. U, F. B corresponds with Y. F corresponds with U. Right here. 
it go? Where is it? One W corresponds with D. That one should give us a few. All right. I will give us R. Uh, B will give us Y. Oh, did we already do that one? Yes, we did. N corresponds with M. That's not very well drawn M. No. P corresponds with K. And O corresponds with L, which I already think I did, but I missed one. So this one says, what's the point in being alive if you don't at least try to do something remarkable? So this one is a pretty straightforward kind of code. Um, it's one of the easier ones that you will do. It's worth probably anywhere from 60 to 100 points. And if for some reason that you don't have this table right here, you can just write out your alphabet A, B, C, dot, 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 X, Y, Z. Just imagine that the other letters are there and then write it backwards and you will have your app hash table. So that's all I have for you guys for the app bash cipher today. I hope this made sense. Leave any questions in the comments and I will see you in the next video.